Nature is a part of who we are. And we're here today at COP15 to make sure it remains part of who we will be. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau kicked off the opening ceremonies for the United Nations Biodiversity Conference COP15 Tuesday afternoon for the global event in Montreal. Governments from around the world coming together to agree on a new set of goals for actions to stop and reverse the losses to nature through 2030. Canada stepped up on just a few months' notice to have this nature COP held here in Montreal so that together we find solutions. The Prime Minister's address was interrupted early on by about 10 Indigenous protesters who were singing, chanting Trudeau is a colonizer for a few minutes before they were escorted out of the venue by security. Trudeau stayed silent and then thanked them. Communities are free to express themselves openly and strongly. The Prime Minister emphasized the need for an agreement out of this conference for the next 10 years. Until we agree that it matters. The amount of security that is in the area, area for the last month, it's been really, really intense. Walking into the United Nations Conference on Biodiversity here in Montreal, you can see security is tight. Participants going through a checkpoint where all of their items are scanned and they're granted entry with proof of a negative COVID test. And as COP15 gets underway, thousands are flocking to the area. But nearby business owners are worried their revenue will take a hit as their usual clientele are avoiding the craze and the closures. It's pretty hard to deal with it because we don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, we don't know if the amount of security will stop people to come in. So what we said in the last two weeks is before um, it was really, really calm, more than usual, because no one want to come downtown. Usually La Finca, a cafe, is packed with people with lineups outside the door. At the beginning of COP15, the locale hasn't been as bustling, especially as the closest subway station was shut down for the event. I didn't sleep well Sunday night because I was like, oh, what's going to be this week? But uh, yeah, let's cross fingers that people will uh, come and try our coffee. Inside the COP15 venue, business owners say they're getting a breath of life. It's a different uh, difference from uh, the pre-pandemic, pre-damn pandemic and pandemic, and now we are coming out of it. But it's it's a plus, you know, it's a plus uh, to see so many people uh, from many places uh, merging here for the convention. Yeah. Over at the nearby Shim Hospital, plans are in place for all sorts of cases. The worst case scenario of their accesses being blocked by protesters during the week. The main concern is really the demonstration that occur if they occur around our perimeters. And this is our main priority to make sure that the patient who need to come here, uh, they have access. The hospital and others putting in an action plan for the demonstrations. We are trying to work around it, but I think uh, it's good actually that people are saying their voice and everything. So yeah, we are uh, just trying to make sure like it's going to be secure for us too. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.